We now bring you a story of injustice, endurance and ultimately justice. It's the tragic story of wrongfully convicted US man, Glenn Simmons. Let's now take a look at his harrowing 48-year ordeal in this next report. Glenn Simmons, now 71 years old, is a man who spent nearly half a century in prison for a crime he did not commit. For 48 years, Glyn Simmons lived behind bars for a 1974 murder. Now, in a bittersweet turn of events, he has been formally declared innocent. This rare ruling comes after his conviction was dismissed in July. The dismissal followed a shocking revelation that prosecutors had withheld crucial evidence in the case that prosecutors had withheld crucial evidence in his case. Evidence that could have prevented him from spending his entire youth in jail. Let's dig deeper. In 1974, Carolyn Sue Rogers was murdered. She was shot to death during a liquor store robbery in Edmond, Oklahoma. Simmons and his co-defendant, Don Roberts, were convicted of this murder. Both were originally sentenced to death, but this was later reduced to life imprisonment. Roberts was paroled in 2008, but Simmons remained behind bars. He always claimed his innocence, insisting he was in Louisiana at the time of the murder. The evidence that could have proved his innocence? A police report indicating other possible suspects which was never presented in court. State prosecutors later said they won't retry him as there is no physical evidence left. After his conviction was dismissed in July, Simmons sought what is known as a finding of actual innocence. Finally, in a landmark decision, Oklahoma State Judge Amy Palumbo granted this finding. Judge Palumbo ruled the offence for which Mr. Simmons was convicted, sentenced and imprisoned was not committed by Mr. Simmons. This development in itself is significant because in the US justice system, criminal trials primarily focus on whether defendants have been proven guilty beyond a reasonable doubt. Rarely do we see a court declare someone actually innocent. This ruling stands out because defendants are not obligated to prove their innocence to be found not guilty. Judge Palumbo's finding for Simmons is not just a legal technicality. It sets a precedent in the country's justice system. This ruling now makes Simmons eligible for up to $170,000 in wrongful conviction compensation from the state. But the road to justice is far from over. Simmons attorney, Joe Norwood, spoke of the pain and loss his client has endured over the years. Nearly 50 years of lost experiences and skills stolen by the justice system. Norwood also mentioned a forthcoming federal lawsuit seeking damages against those involved in Simmons's prosecution. Amidst this battle for justice, Simmons faces another fight against cancer. His medical condition was discovered only after his release. Currently, he's relying on donations through a GoFundMe campaign to survive. Glenn Simmons's ordeal is a heart-wrenching reminder of the fallibility of the justice system. How many other innocent people might be lingering in prisons for crimes they did not commit? Simmons, however, is relieved with the judgment. He said, this is the day we've been waiting on for a long, long time. We can say justice was done today, finally, and I'm happy. Indeed, a bittersweet victory for Glenn Simmons, a man who lost nearly 50 years to a wrongful conviction, now stands free, his name cleared. But at the cost of a life, that could have been. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.